Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 14, and Jonathan has got an idea. I wonder if the Lord is leading. Let's read it. We're starting at 1 Samuel 14. We're going to start at verse 4 and go down through verse 10. Let's read it out. Between the passes by which Jonathan sought to go over to the Philistines' garrison, there was a sharp rock on one side and a sharp rock on the other side. And the name of the one was Boses, and the name of the other, Sena. The front of one faced northward opposite Mishmash, and the other southward opposite Gibeah. Then Jonathan said to the young man who bore his armor, Come, let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us, for nothing restrains the Lord from saving by many or by few. So his armor bearer said to him, Do all that is in your heart, go then. Here I am with you according to your heart. Then Jonathan said, Very well, let us cross over to these men, and we will show ourselves to them. If they say thus to us, Wait until we come to you, then we will stand still in our place and not go up to them. But if they say thus, Come up to us, then we will go up. For the Lord has delivered them into our hand, and this will be a sign to us. Boy, that's pretty bold. Attacking uphill, I mean uphill on a sheer, uh, uh, almost a sheer rock cliff. Uh, there's actually some pictures on the internet I found of what people really think this might be the very actual location. You can take a look at this. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, you could sort of imagine Jonathan climbing up there. It looks kind of intense. But whether that's it or not, here's what we have in the text. The, this is going to be a whole garrison on top and Jonathan and his armor bearer climbing up from below. I mean, what are the odds there? How, how does that... Militarily, is that something you really want to do? I don't, I don't normally think so. But it's not just done at random here. He works out a sign. It's kind of a fleece. If they say this to us, we'll react this way. If they say this to us, we'll react this way. You know, they are, they're not going to want to come down. Who wants to come down? Because then they've got to climb all the way back up. So you might say well, this is kind of a biased thing, but I think the Lord wanted to work for his people. And so they basically fulfilled the very thing. Come up to us and we'll show you something. Well, that's tomorrow morning, but we'll, we'll come to that. Anyway, I like how this works out here today. This is boldness. This is, this is really bold. And Jonathan is, is putting the Lord in a positive sense, I would say again here, to the test. He's got a very uh, stringent basis here. If they say the other thing, they'll just wait there for them and they'll fight them on their own down there. But otherwise, they'll go on up and do the crazy thing. Sometimes God works with us when we do the crazy thing. The thing that in human terms looks crazy, to Jonathan, it's, a, it's an opportunity for the Lord. To Jonathan, it's a case for the Lord's, to, to serve the Lord with boldness, to watch for the Lord's intervention on the side of right. And I think many times we are very passive. We become a very passive you know, kind of a screen-oriented uh, people. We, we're used to watching computer screens, phone screens, every kind of screen screen. And we're just kind of sitting there, slack-jawed, taking all this stuff in. And, you know, I'm, I'm criticizing you and myself at the same time. But there's something about that that's sort of debilitating, sort of pacifying. We don't want that. We want to be aggressive out there, finding how to serve the Lord. And we want to be bold. Jonathan's going to climb straight up. Jonathan's ready to climb up and take them on single-handedly. So this is something. Let's see tomorrow morning what happens. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, boldness is not a characteristic of our age. In fact, passivity is the fundamental characteristic, I believe, of our hour today. I'm sad about that, Lord. I want to uh, seek your strength, your encouragement, your uh, helping me and each one of us to be men and women of boldness in service to Jesus. So Lord, this is a very interesting example. We are going to be excited to see what you do in response to this reaching out, this faith of your servant, Jonathan. So Lord, bless us, help us to be active servants of the kingdom also, we ask in Jesus' name. So tomorrow morning, we'll see what comes next. In the meantime, may the blessing of God be with you and upon you for this day.